can just see you. There comes a time in your life around the age of 20. I'm turning 20 in like five days. Hi guys, I would like to clear the air. This was um, pre-recorded. I turned 20 over a week ago. That's how behind schedule I am. Okay, bye. Where you start to sit back and think about your entire life because, whoop, you're, you're not a teenager anymore, right? And most people would be like, oh, I'm so excited that I'm just not a teenager just not a teenager anymore because honestly with turning 20 nothing special really happens like it makes no difference other than you're not a teenager anymore like i don't know what else comes i can't drink i can't run a car i can't book a hotel you have to be 21 or up for all of that in america so as any sane person would instead of reminiscing on what could have been if i was just simply one year older I'm recounting all of the times I have almost died. <laughs> Don't take this as a depressing thing because it's really not. Like, it's funny. And when I tell you why it's funny, or what? I'm gonna tell you how it's funny, okay? All right. I promise this isn't like a super depressing, like, oh my god, everyone feel bad for her. She almost died like six times. It's, it's nothing like that, I promise. It's just me being stupid and me being Amelia and me just not being smart, like I just said. So I think I'm going to start with my most early memory of almost dying, and I can't exactly pinpoint the age, but I'm thinking around I was 10 years old almost, maybe, something like that. And the funny part is this is the day I almost died three times. Like, something was trying to take me out, and it failed. And I'm still kicking nine and a half years later. Or is it like nine and like seven eighths? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna say ten years. I'm still kicking ten years later. If it makes you understand a little bit more, horse, horses were involved. Horses were involved. And that is why I almost died. So, for context, I was at a barn birthday party which shockingly was the same day as my birthday and that's a whole nother can of worms. Basically this barn mom didn't like my mom so she scheduled her kid's big ass birthday party on my birthday and it was like a whole thing. They gave me a clock for my birthday. It, it, it That's another thing that I would have to go over. <laughs> so the first time I almost died, <sighs> it was around the time they were giving out cake, right? And I was eating an icy, and I didn't want cake because, quite honestly, I was really mad that this was scheduled on my birthday and I didn't want to be there, but my mom was so worried about us making a proper impression and showing up that I had to be there on my birthday, celebrating somebody else's birthday. So I was eating an icy, and all the adults were, like, out of my vicinity to go do the cake or whatever, and I was sitting there eating this icy, and the plastic, you know, like, it was like one of those ices that come like in the plastic and you push them up the plastic like I didn't cut the top off fully or whoever gave it to me didn't and I swallowed that piece of plastic and it got stuck in my throat so I was sitting there like literally choking I honestly thought I was gonna die like this is like the most serious one I promise I honestly thought I was gonna die I was choking and by the grace of God, I look over and there's a truck, like an F-150, whatever the hell was out back then. It was parked near me and on the tailgate was a red Solo cup. And I was like, this is like the only way I'm going to live or die. Even if there's like alcohol in this, I literally have to drink it or I'm going to choke. And I was like wheezing, like I could feel it, like I was blacking out, like I was losing oxygen because I was a stupid kid. So I was hyperventilating while I was choking. I just, I run over to this cup and I pick it up and oh my god, it was, now that I'm older and well-versed, I understand that it was probably a Corona light with like something mixed in it and oh my god. After I, I, I got it out of my throat by drinking something, it, it didn't make it any better because now I had the taste of Corona in my mouth. I wasn't happy. 
So instead of whining about it, because I know my mom was just going to tell me to shut up, I just, I just moved on and I was like, okay, whatever. So that was the first time I almost died that day. The second time, I'm trying to find the druid training. I always forget where it is. The second time was actually, I had a pony at the time named Duke. I was going to get him out of the pasture, but then my aunt who actually owned the facility at the time we don't talk to her anymore she owned the facility at the time she owned the barn she was like actually just leave him in there because he's gonna get stressed out with all the party stuff going on he was a pony from hell by the way he was an awful rotten pony i was like okay and she told me to fill up his water bucket or whatever because it was getting empty so i bring it over to the faucet because we had faucets on the side of the pastures, right? I go to fill it up and I can't, I literally cannot twist this thing. So I'm like sitting here twisting it as hard as I can. Nothing happens. And I'm like, okay, this thing is just busted, I guess. So I pull my hand away and on my hand is a spider. And I'm like, oh my God, what? Because I was afraid of spiders. And I was like, <laughs> at least it's not a black widow, right? Because I live in Florida, so we have those here. <laughs> so I, 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 I brush it off. I just failed that. I brush off the spider and I squish it. And I'm like laughing at it. Like, look, there was a spider on me to my aunt. And she's like, huh, it's kind of big, isn't it? And I was like, I don't know, I guess. So she picks it up and turns it over and it was a black widow. My life flashed before my eyes because i watched animal planet when i was little and i saw those those shows of people getting bit by things and like dying and i was i was flabbergasted i was like okay so that was that was time number two like if i hit that thing the wrong way if i didn't like one tap that spider and kill it i probably wouldn't be here so that's a cute one okay the final time i almost died in that singular day a horse was involved so we were doing pony games and i was i was so mad because they were using my pony for the pony games even though my mom didn't agree to it but again my mom was so worried about impressions she was like it's fine just let them use the pony and i was like whatever not to mention my pony was rotten and evil and he literally had neurological issues and just threw people off because he felt like it and would just flip for no reason and they let me a child ride him, and now they were letting other children that were from the ages of two to nine also ride him. What symbol did that say? I'm gonna go with star and just pretend. I can't talk and train. So anyway, they asked me to go lead the horse out, lead my pony out of the pasture, finally. And I was like scared to go back to that pasture after literally almost, you know, getting, getting bit by a spider. I go to get him, yeah, and he's he's being fine, I guess. He's he has he had really bad ground manners, and he was like throwing his head at me. But he put the halter on, and I had my cute little purple and blue lead rope that I got from Dover, and we were walking out, and suddenly, he pulls me forward, and for some reason I was under zero adult supervision, zero, none. <sighs> And he rushes in front of me and kicks. And when I say his hoof was probably one centimeter away from my head, I mean it. I literally mean it. So the stable hand caught him and the stable hand was really, really, really upset. Like he yelled at my aunt because my aunt was kind of a ditz. Like she divorced my uncle. I'm like getting way too TMI on here. Whatever, we don't talk to her anymore. And that was like one of the reasons. But he was like, how could you leave this kid alone with this horse? You know the way he is. Like, you need to get rid of this horse. And how dare you let a child go get him by herself? And he was, he was right. Nobody was disagreeing with him. It kind of ruined the birthday party. And honestly, either because this party was put on my birthday and it wasn't my party either i outlived my designated time and something was trying to kill me off before i turned another day older or some kind of spirit was on my side and wanted me to die during the party <laughs> so the attention would go 
<laughs> would go back to me instead of this stupid little kid that I don't know I'm talking out of my ass I guess should I talk hello should I talk about other ways I've almost died or is three in the same day I'll give you one more because there's like six but I gotta I gotta watch the time I guess oh I could tell you so my horse DJ if you watch my RRPs, you may notice that in my most recent one, I made a funny, like, little horse that had a thing for running into the standards of jumps. That is based on a true story. There was this one lesson. I was already aggravated, and I didn't want to ride, and DJ, the horse, my horse, clearly was not into it either, and he was really mad at me for being on his back, and I should have just gotten off, but my trainer was pushy. That's a whole nother can of worms. She has, like, abuse charges. My life is so dramatic. She wants us to go over this, like, roll top oxer thing, and I didn't want to do it. DJ didn't want to do it, and when you don't want to do it, the horse really doesn't want to do it, and he could sense that I didn't want to do it. So, last minute, as I'm, like, astride away from the jump, like, the distance would have been perfect if he didn't do this, he sidesteps and literally just bulldozes us right into the standard of this roll top and I go flying and my trainer said I literally did like a flip on the top of my head and stood there for like a second and I was fine. I got back on but probably could have broken my neck. <laughs> There's been a few times I've almost broken my neck. There was this other time where I had to switch trainers for a little bit and this one trainer didn't know me and had me jumping like really, really small, even though I didn't jump small. I, of course it's protocol. You're gonna, they're gonna make you jump small your first lesson. I didn't want to listen and there was like this <laughs> four foot <laughs> jump just in the middle of the arena meant for the older kids that did jumpers. For reference, I was a hunter in I think the two six at the time and I just didn't listen to what they told me this trainer and I just jumped it on like this little pony and he jumped it and it was fun but I got in a lot of trouble <laughs> a lot of trouble I, I, I would not go back to that day I think that was the day I almost died emotionally because I was like getting screamed at and I was only like seven years old I wouldn't say seven. That's an exaggeration. I was like 12. I'm about to fail this and others. I only need three more. What? That didn't have like, whatever. Anyway, that's like five times I almost died. Um, just like I'm about to die in this mission. Ready? Let's watch me fail. Oopsie. Yeah. So that's all the times. Well, not all the times. Just a few highlights of me almost dying. I hope you enjoyed. Please tell me about the times you almost died. I'm very curious. Okay, bye. So breathe.